Tatsu Protein Water. Jacoba, how are you? Good to see you. Either one, and please just keep an eye on your time. Hello, everybody. How are we doing? Last oh, one today. Yes. <laughs> Do me a favor. Raise your hand if your health is important to you. Of course, right, everyone? Thank you. How about we raise our hand if you would prefer to pronounce the ingredients in the products you consume and know they're safe and better for you? Duh. <laughs> Thank you. Um, did you know that two-thirds of Americans are seeking additional levels of protein in their diet? The problem is there are limited natural and healthy sources of protein available in the $130 billion functional beverage market, right? Tatu Protein Water is an easy and convenient source of high-quality protein to keep you healthy and strong. Each 12-ounce can has 15 grams of protein, 60 calories, and zero grams of sugar. Tatu comes in two flavors, zesty lemon ginger, which is light and refreshing, and juicy orange mango, which has just a hint of sweetness. Now, the science behind protein is solid. If you ingest protein after you work out, your muscles recover faster, they grow faster, and you're actually less fatigued during your following workouts. Tatu has 15 grams of that much needed high quality source of protein that makes it the perfect post-workout recovery drink. Now, there are two reasons why we stand out in the protein market. Two main reasons. Number one, in a blind taste test against the three leading protein waters, Tatu outranked each competitor, hands down, in taste, in ingredients, and in mouthfeel. And reason number two, zero grams of sugar, no hormones, no colors, nothing in there that shouldn't be in there. Tatu was named after my co-founder's mother, a renowned African artist. Tatu means the number three in Swahili, and for us, that means finding balance in your mind, your body, and your soul. Well done. Uh, Kim, we're seeing protein pop up in various beverage categories. Uh, what are your thoughts on Tatsu as protein-infused water? Yeah, I like the idea. I think um, customers are looking for any way to get more protein in their diet. It's all over social media in terms of different ideas of how to do that. I could see, you know, drinking this after you go work out and getting the benefits of the protein as you're getting hydrate, hydrated at the same time. So I like the fact that it's in a can. Um, so I think it's, it's interesting um, and on trend. Yeah. It also seems to be pretty clear as to what it is, Mike. Would you agree? Yeah. Me? Yeah. No, I definitely <laughs> agree. Uh, it, it reminds me a bit of um, another uh, sort of spent whey or, you know, milk isolate product, Good Sport, in the taste, and I like that a lot. So, like, it felt familiar when I tasted it. It wasn't, like, super surprising, and it's, it's highly crushable. I liked both flavors that I tried. I wanted a little more ginger and the ginger, but we, we always want that, right, Ray? And then always. the orange mango, um, I don't know, I almost thought it tasted peachy, but I, I really liked it. So uh, maybe it was the sort of milky after whatever that was making it a little peachier. Uh, I just, I think it's a strong product. Mm -hmm. Junkie, what do you think about the versatility of this product and that it could reach a number of different consumers? Yeah, I think the occasion's really clear. Um, obviously, there's some market development to do around the segment in general. Uh, it does, it's probably the best tasting protein water uh, I think I've had so far, which is really great. Um, I would probably just stay really clear around just the, um, the core benefit of just why protein water, and then it would expand the occasions even beyond just post-workout. It could be, you know, just making sure you get the protein intake that you need every day, since there's such a strong momentum and, and trend around protein in general mm -hmm. in diet. Yeah, it does seem like 15 grams is quite a bit. Um, yeah. Do you taste that, Andrew, or is that something that um, just sort of blends in well? I mean, it definitely leads the taste profile when you drink these. It's, it's whey protein first and it's flavor second. Mm -hmm. um, from my point of view, I think that's okay because you're not, you know, kind of, you know, having some sort of nondescript amount of functionality added to the drink post flavor. I mean, the, the functionality mm -hmm. is being delivered right there. Um, it is a very clean tasting product. The, I think 60 calories at 15 grams of protein makes a lot of sense for someone who is actively looking for something like this post-workout. Um, one challenge I see is, you know, I'd say traditionally whey-based pr proteins are married with chocolate and vanilla or they're powder-based, mm -hmm. so there's something that more leans into the natural taste profile of it, where these are much more citrus and like acidified forward, which, um, I think is an interesting white space to kind of figure out and solve for. And this is definitely for a consumer who probably is not an active protein powder consumer, 
but someone who is aware that they would like to increase their protein intake post-workout. Outstanding. Uh, you know, all 12 semifinalists, I thought, did an amazing job today. Round of applause for all of them. Congratulations.